Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, I got a call for no AC here. Let me take a look. Um, actually, was here the other day. That was Friday. I repaired the wiring. Today's Monday. Got everything going. Got pretty lucky it didn't happen over the weekend. Something's up. So. Both fortunate and blessed. I haven't pulled the disconnect yet. I guess I'll go ahead and do that to make it safer. Smell it. I, I can see that the, the wiring here is all fried back. That's not good. I had restripped this and re-ran the line to right here. Oh yeah, I can see it. It just melted off there. Wow. There it is right there. So like probably gonna need a new contactor and may need a new a new whip on this but it's a really long really long whip hmm. yeah okay well, we've got a disconnect pulled I'm gonna go ahead and discharge the capacitor and uh, you know maybe I should have replaced this the other day let me see how bad this wire is back here pretty bad in there. The wiring completely, the sheath is completely uh, not too bad of a repair as far as the contactor goes, but the wiring itself I probably could just run the conduit along the front and not use a shorter whip here. Uh, also, you can see I might need to go grab some logs and a wrench and all that. Sounds like the contactor's pulled in, so don't need that. Probably going to need, like I said, to replace the whole whip. This is. Leave that there. Yeah, here we go. Let's see how bad it is inside here. Oh, not too bad, actually. Huh. I wonder. The wire here doesn't look bad. Let's see how much room I have, if any. Can I any of the wire through from here. Not really. Aye, aye. So gonna probably need to pull it back and see. Jeez. I could just shorten this conduit. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect this side since I need to anyway. And going to need to disconnect the ground wire. ground wire going across right there. Oh, that's in there tight. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. I said I may need to replace the conduit. Big deal. You have a coffee this morning? 
friend of mine gave me a copy. Alright. There we go. Like this is all, you know, it's all bent different ways on the other side. So I need to straighten that out so that I can pull it out. That contactor is definitely seen better days. Well, I don't need to pull all the wires out. I actually just need to pull the one that's really damaged. <clears throat> there we go. Ooh. Now let's see if there's any much to work with there. The conduit is actually longer than I need I can pull it this much and then can pull the, <clears throat> the wire hopefully through a bit because I really don't need all that there and we can take this back to a decent spot the other way is I could feed another wire from the from the box to a continuity test here and figure out which wire it is and pull all new wire through. That would be another way. Or I could just pull through here. I don't know, I got a, a little slice on my thumb and it made it feel like I was getting electrocuted, but it wasn't. Ah. Yeah, that's a. I need more room there. I could make a jumper wire inside to jump, but then then you've got another connection point. And I also could just wrap this up with electrical tape and refeed it. The wire doesn't look damaged at all. It's not. Uh, I think I'm going to go that route. It's not the perfect deal, but change this and then replace the contactor. The wire doesn't look degraded at all or nicked at all. It just, I think it's going to be too short if I, which leads to like, why bother uh, pulling it out? I could have just wrapped it inside, but that's okay do a better job of it this way. Just gonna replace all that insulation. Gonna add a little more, a little lower as well. Make all that better. And it's probably that contactor could have been replaced the other day. I'm going to trim off just this little bit of a, it doesn't look as clean. There we go. And the rest will go into the contactor and that'll be that. Now here goes. Feed this one up in 
come in. fun part. I wish I didn't pull it out, but I just wrapped it from inside, but that's okay. Where are you, you little bugger? Oh yeah, it's right there. Right there. Okay. So I'll be pushing it up and in. In theory. Along with the whole bundle of wires. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we've got enough room to get to the to the box. Okay, and now we're ready to change out the box uh, and reattach the ground wire. And I'm going to be pulling this one, trimming this as well, doing a nice new connection. past the part that melted there. It'll be much easier to strip off. Okay. So now we've got our heat wires, got our continuity wires. Alright. Okay, now to see if I have another contact here. bag. Aye, aye, aye. Contactor here. Okay. Kinds of fun on this one. Whew. Okay, so we'll prep this one. 
have our ingoing wires at the bottom, outgoing wires at the top. Okay. So we've got our two heater. Wow. And that's why this one was just coming apart. So. Don't come apart yet, buddy. I still need you. So I might need to kind of hold this piece and slip that lead off. When it's on there good. There we go. Oh, and there's what failed. Contact here. Gonna kind of do the same thing when second one. All right. And I'm going to slip these wires off first. Top. Wow. Just in rough shape all around. Two red. back down and make it slip in the back lead off a little easier. Hi. The whole contact routine came out. Rough shape all around. Okay. And now we're going to pull off the leads for the so we've still got low voltage for the, what do you call it, the thermostat leads. Okay, so we pulled those off. Okay, and now we're ready to take out. Separate these. Wow. There we go. Really, probably need new wire connects all around. I dig through my bag and see if I have uh, everything I need. go get some more wire leads really better for this unless I have them in my bag. <laughs> I do. I got two. Two new wire leads. That's all I have. I just need one for this one and then one for the black wire. So, I'm gonna make 
make these better here. And then this one I can just do a crimp on. Leave this jumper here. Yeah, we're just gonna rebuild all this all this wiring. Want to crimp on to the wire itself. Yeah, much better. Okay. And then this one, I'm gonna replace this lead with this lead. So this one is a crimp and a stake. leads there, that's great. Okay. Get this this way. And we can slide this back and we can that way we can view our our crimp. And trim off these. right where we want the crimp. Okay. Nice and solid. Now we'll take the butt connector over there and we'll melt that on. better days, but it's okay. Shrink wrap, nice and shrunk. There we go. Okay. And then, what else we got? We got the black wire. Same thing, I'm gonna it's nice and we've got a nice clean lead here already from the last repair. Trim off a little bit of the end there and add our new wire lead. way with this one. And I just replaced all the capacitors and everything, so I'm sure those are fine. Just this deal here. Okay. Set for our crimp. Okay. 
skimp done. Give a little tag and make sure. These you have to watch and make sure you crimp them towards the end because otherwise it can damage the, the factory crimp. I've had a few of those come apart. Miserable. Okay. Shrink wrap. Okay. Now we've got all new connections there, all new connections there. Um, now I'm going to connect the low voltage. Oh shoot, and I should have done this side before put my contactor in because it's real tricky to get to. Okay, that one's on. Now this one, and it's going to pop in when I when I connect it. There we go. And now our contactor is connected. Okay, so here's our top red run wire. I don't need these top ones loose, so I'm going to tighten down the... the terminal leads, because those hold the back portion in. Our red run wire on, and then here's the one where we put the new lead. There we go, and now we need our black wire. into the contactor. There we go. Okay, now we should have a jumper to the common right there. Okay. Now we got our incoming voltage lines and then our heat crankcase heater lines. Crankcase heater lines just go one to the bottom of each side. Right. our fan common wire that's going to go up to the top of the contactor on the black common side. There we go. And then I should have my second crankcase heater line right here. I need to tighten this terminal or replace it. I think I'm going to go with replacing that one. That looks pretty tired. Whew. Okay. That was a complete rebuild on the, on the wiring. Definitely needed it. Alright, it's going to make this much better. So where'd my wire go here? Right here. Okay. This is the crankcase heater wires. Actually, I'm wrong. This is the Edison box. This one doesn't look like it has the crankcase heater wires. It looks like a number 16 here, so just tripping that down. 
lead in here. Crimp that on. Got a much better lead on there. Just a little easier to get this on first so that the, the incoming line wire is not in the way. Okay, so now here's our ground wire. It's going to be going to the back of the deal. Things a little bit in the way, that's how it is. it kind of passes right through that hole. And the ground is just a physical ground making connection with the shell of the, the unit protecting everything. Nice and tight there you can see it passes right through the hole. Okay so now we've got this side. main voltage and the side for our main voltage. Hard on the feet, I can tell you. I've got a kind of injury on my right foot and it's pretty tough on me. But that's okay. We get that nice and up and in there along with the terminal at the back and make sure we're clamping down on the wire itself and get that nice and tight okay nothing pulls out and now the same with this one terminal at the back is pushed up as well as the wire itself. And get it nice and tight. Oh. Hey, it broke off. Good. Better now than later. And a piece of wire is still inside there. Hi. Okay. We've got to retake some of this wire back. Strip 
off my wire tape. <laughs> until we get a good solid connection there. All right. There we go. I'll tighten it down. Come on, buddy. Sometimes it's just like that. Everything will fight you the whole way. Gosh, dang it. That's how it is sometimes. Now we're going to get Come on, buddy. Sometimes they just fight you. That's how it is. Just gotta be ready for the fight. All right, we're done. Our wire's nice and wrapped. Everything is nice and solid now. Now we're ready to fire this thing up, get it going. One last, just verifying all of our wires are connected and where they need to be. Everything is correct. And we're ready to run. All right. We're ready. Are you ready? Here we go. All right. That one took a long time. That's what it was. Fried. Crispy fried contactor. Oh yeah. Done deal. Nice and cold. Good, good, good. And air conditioner back in the mix. Now I just kind of pack up all my trash, stay with it, make sure everything's good. Well, I'll wait. Yeah, I probably should have replaced that contactor uh, last time. That's what happens sometimes. And the whip could have possibly replaced it, but checking it back, we had good, good wiring all the way back, so we're good there. Um, put my trash in all this bag here. Hopefully, I don't get no dusty contact here in my coffee. Get all my garbage. Put my electrical tape back on the little piece of wire. Put those back in the bag. Nice. Uh, the bag's starting to 
should go somewhere. That's a really good backup. This one. Uh, HP. Works out really good. But, you know, really good. It's made it through a one whole season so far. Palm Springs morning. Uh, cooler weather is finally here. It's about maybe 85 degrees, 90 degrees right now. Uh, which is great in comparison to how it's been. Alright. We're going to get off of this loop. It's a done deal. We'll see you all fixed. Thanks for watching. Come through maintenance. Over and out. Nice and cold. Whew. Made it. Yeah, one nice thing about my job is I'm the one that gets called back if my repair doesn't work out. Uh, it allows me to learn a lot more uh, than I, one of those things. What I should have done, what I should have looked for. And looking at that contactor, I should have replaced that contactor when I did the repair last time. But sometimes, you know, you do what you got to do. Definitely running down. Nice day out there. Stay safe.